Are you a healthcare provider using a curl and constantly on the lookout for time-saving features? My name is Alfred Wong from Cortical Health Technologies, and I'm thrilled to share with you some of our most popular patient engagement tools inside the Acuro EMR ecosystem. In this quick five-minute demo, I'll show you how a patient books an online appointment, how that appointment shows up in Acuro, how to assign task patients to upload files or photos, how to send email and SMS messages, and finally, if you do send files and documents, I'll show you how those patients receive those files securely. Let's get started on a demonstration clinic website as a patient clicking book now. The patient sees the different healthcare services offered by your medical clinic, each with their own unique rules and booking criteria. We focus on the patient experience to deliver useful information to guide them through the process. I'll pause a moment and describe these two workflows in a bit more detail. The family doctor workflows apply to patients with attached primary care physicians. So patients who are not attached and attempt to access this workflow is restricted from booking. For this demo, I'll use a simple doctor walking workflow where a patient can select any available doctor. Custom pop-up messages can be placed throughout the general booking process as well as individual healthcare services. The patient enters in their health card number and date of birth, which is then verified against the EMR records. Patients who are new to the clinic and register for the first time receives a copy of the accepted agreements by email. Let's fill out the test patient information now. After being successfully verified, Cortico retrieves the real-time schedule of the doctor. The patient starts to fill out questions which can be customized for every workflow. We even have the ability to convert answers into ratings for things like Likert scales and hack assessments. The next part is for the patient to select how to see the doctor. Depending on the logic, one or more options can be made available. For example, initial visits may require an in-clinic assessment, while follow-up appointments may simply be virtual. Cortico looks at both the workflow logic and doctor schedule to determine the dates and times to present to the patient. One unique feature is that we automatically prevent patients from double booking on the same day, generally to prevent billing reimbursement challenges. So now I'll go ahead and select the following date. Portico has a number of integrations, including with pharmacies. Patients can pre-select their preference for obtaining the prescription, which is then updated in the EMR. And success, the appointment is booked. A few resources is made available for the patient in this confirmation page, as well as a confirmation email. By default, patients receive an email reminder seven days and two days before, and an SMS text message 90 minutes before the appointment. Now let's see how this appointment shows up in Akuro. In the schedule, you see the patient booked into the 9 a.m. time slot and data from the appointment. With the patient selected, we can now launch the patient engagement tool directly from inside Akuro. This demonstration patient has a lot of test appointments, so we'll scroll down to the bottom here. Uh, I want to first show you the alternate view of the appointment record because now we can do some really cool things like assigning tasks to patients. For example, if you want a patient to fill out a form or upload files prior to the appointment, you can initiate that task here. The patient receives an email with further direction on how to complete the task, and the files are then saved into the EMR. Let's send a request to upload a photo. Success. So now let's go back to the patient engagement tool and I'll show you an alternative way to communicate with patients. With the patient selecting an curl and launching this tool, you can click on the cortical icon in the bottom right to open up the messenger. Here you can type a custom message or use a message template or canned response. You can switch from email mode to SMS mode and you can add documents to the message. Here, let's add a simple lab rec. Uh, let's add a little bit more dummy text to this email and fire it off. One note is that the email field is pre-populated with the patient email, but this can be overwritten by the user. This is not common, but certain situations require this flexibility. With the email sent successfully, I'll pull up the email that just landed in my inbox, noting the time, 3.11 p.m. You also see that the file is not simply as an attachment, but as a link. This link takes the patient to a verification process to authenticate them before making the file available. And that's it. Uh, oh, and if there was ever any concern about the email being delivered, our tool also includes an audit log which tracks the status of each message. You'll see the record for the 3.11 p.m. email as being delivered successfully. 
That's it for this quick preview of Cortico's integration into Acuro. To learn more about Acuro, visit us at www.cortico.health. If you want a personalized walkthrough of Cortico's features, make sure to register for a demo to learn about other amazing features such as our iPad kiosk and patient payment processing. My name is Alfred Wong, and I'll see you next time.